So right now we are on the boat with David and we'll give you some information the basic tips how to cast and how to adjust your bed casting reel. So enjoy this video. So before we start our main topic, can you tell us, can you introduce yourself and when you start your fishing and your achievement on sport fishing? Okay, um, basically I start fishing um, since I was six. I started fishing seriously this, this pond. This is the pond where I start everything from casting. For to every to all types of fishing, to pole fishing, to bottom fishing, but mainly I started I more seriously on casting. I learn a lot from here. I use a lot. I buy a lot of um, lures and um, learn a lot of techniques of on casting and how to catch a fish, what to use, what are lures, what. Um, Know, like um, how to read the water condition, how to read the weather condition, and what type of set do you need for um, a particular type of fish? You know, a big fish, you know, a big uh, big rod, uh, maybe a stronger rod, stronger poundage, and a powerful reel. Yeah, and so far now my achievement is like I joined a competition for MCT and I I won the champion uh, for 2016. Uh, that was last year, and yeah, that most basically that's that's my journey. Yeah. Okay, in the market we have two types of, of uh, bait casting. Uh, that is the, the magnetic. We have the magnetic brake system. Yeah, the magnetic brake system, and we have the centrifugal brake system this is the two types of uh, brake casting in the market now the centrifugal is built in inside they don't have it outside so um, centrifugal you need to open the cap, the cap and this, this is the brake system there. how the brake system works okay there's like uh, for example there's four this is a four brake system you need okay so the top one you need to push it up means it's on and down it's off uh, and uh, let's say um if you cast um a lighter say a heavier leo okay you bring you heavier leo you need to increase the brake system so you, when you increase the brake system, you need to switch it on, yeah. So it will reduce the speed. So on. If you want to decrease the the, if you're using a lighter weight um, leo, you can switch off. Yeah. Where okay, this is the how the centrifugal works. The brake system, the brake system and. For magnetic, we're gonna set the brake system is on the outside of the frame. See, this is this is the dial, the dial uh, for the brake system. The magnetic um, magnetic braking system is built outside. This is the adjusting dial. We have one to ten. So let's say if you want to if you want if you want to cut um, a heavy audio. You increase it up to 10 you have a 10 dial so you, after that if you want to use a lighter leo you decrease it to a 5 or maybe a 2 or a 3 and that's how you do your settings for your break and they have a 
usually they, ha they, has, they have one one more brake system here this one is uh, basically you need to fix once you set it you fix it you, uh, you, you don't touch it anymore so you just fix it means it sets it sets right where it, it needs to be set the only thing that you need to adjust is uh, the dial the configuration 0 to 10 yeah. basically it's like that that's the easiest way this that's one of that's that's the one of the method that you need to learn with centrifugal and that's the only difference it's outside and it's inside of the spool and inside of the cap There's basically there's a there's five types of um, cast, casting technique in bake casting. Um, okay, the first one, the most easiest one, and usually the, the for beginners to start, and they usually start with that with with, with that technique uh, is the side cast. Side cast okay, basically um, side cast is where you want to target a long distance target. Yeah, so I'll show you the technique. Time, side cast. You cast it on your on your right side. If you're right-handed, you cast it on the right side. If you're left-handed, you starting you start it with the left hand um, side cast. And the second one is um, the overhead overhead cast, uh, where you you uh, lift up your rod and you aim it at twelve o'clock and cast it the third one is uh, the backhand cast the backhand cast is where you need you need a stronger backhand movement yeah? so you can cast this one is you need a lot of practice because a lot of, a lot of anglers I mean, for beginners and anglers, to show them do the backhand cast. So, so you get a lot of practice, get used to, get used to it. Another one, backhand cast. The fourth one is the flipping. Basically, um, flipping. It's more towards um, nearest target, where there's a let's let's say you are on the boat and then you um, gonna target like some structures of a grass area. So you need to present your lure on that area, and you are in very near um, the distance is very near to your boat. So you just do a simple and light and silent cast, so you won't spook the fish. So you present your lure. In a in silent way, the little drop it was silent mode. Pitching, yes, the pitching. Um, basically, the pitching is um, flipping and pitching. Uh, usually, uh, they use it on for near target, for close range target um, uh, areas, not like as like. Um, casting for, for using side cast or overhead cast where you aim it for a long distance um, uh, target okay basically pitch, uh, pitching techniques uh, first thing you need to hold your leo or your soft plastic where you need to pitch and let it drop silently and nearby uh, structures the distance between the okay pitching take one thing first thing is the distance between your hand and your reel okay it's not far from your reel so you, need, you you can do it like this or over it so basically if it depends on what where, uh, where do you stand i mean like in the boat if you stand in the boat it, it's too low and it's hard for you to pitch you bring it up it's over your reel 
So you see, you want you want to the bowl. So basically, if you if you if you stand it on high ground, you can hold the so plastic or the little over the wheel. Yeah. So your right hand is in front and your wheel is at the back. But now you're on, on the boat. The so plastic is in front and the wheels are at the back. Yeah. So now we do uh, the Silent. My advice is um okay before you you know you start to learn bed casting you must first get bed casting wheel mm -hmm. and you must choose try to choose um a good bed casting wheel like um, for example like Daiwa or Shimano where the range price is around at least um to 400 ringgit and above. Uh, first thing you want to know is if it's a good bed casting wheel, uh, you must make sure that it, it can cast um, at least 4 gram mm -hmm. and above. Yep. And selection of um, rods, yeah, mm -hmm. rods. Um, try to get um, for beginners, try to get um, 6 12 pound each um, rods. Mm -hmm. uh, at 70, at 70 is a bit heavy, mm -hmm. but um, for starter, you try to get 6 to pound, mm -hmm. and the length is around 6 above, 6 above, yeah, 6 above feet. Okay, um, starting with backcasting, try to cast Leos, where it's around range, around 5 gram, 5 gram for starting, because if you go for lower gram, you might a bit find it a bit difficult for beginners so I'll try to cast around 5 grams um, of uh, weight yeah oh. uh, and yeah, basically that's, that's, that's the important thing yeah 